Y'all already know what the fuck going on, man. It's Big Flock. Big Flock, when they sound, nigga. Pop Eyes, nigga. Big God, God, nigga. When they sound, Grandpa, nigga. You know what the fuck, man. So uh, what's your twenty your biggest twenty twenty goal? Biggest twenty twenty goal? Yes sir. My biggest twenty twenty goal is to make it through the whole twenty twenty free. That's my biggest twenty twenty goal. Stay out here. Don't have no run ins with the law. No sir. And be hundred percent prosperous. That's my goal for twenty twenty. No broke business twenty twenty. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, alright, so uh, what you got any routines that keep you like humble, keep you down to earth? Nah, routine to keep me there, like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Something to keep you, you know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, it's like, that's just naturally me, like. It's just not, this is natural, but like, the way I am, the way I talk to people, the way I just move is just from natural, natural causes, but like, I want to say it's probably in my father and my mother's genes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just naturally like this, like, I'm just, uh, I'm a humble dude, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 no. I don't know how I got like this, though. No question, though. Rest in peace, your pops, bro. And your grandmothers, too. I've seen you yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. Much love, bro. Um, are you got any of your own business ventures that you out here doing? Like, besides the music, like clothes? Uh, I'm working on merchandise right now as far as clothes. Um, I got um, these little phone stickers out right now. Oh, these are cool as shit, yeah. Oh, I ain't even got one of my old ass phone all the time. You got one on your phone? Nah. Uh, I, they, I'll make them be here sooner than later, but they real cool. Um, that same logo that's on the stickers, like that, be on the clothes. And, um, mm -hmm. man, I gotta rock a little shit, like black socks. You know what I'm saying? That's my little thing, man. Don't trust me, I got some black socks. You got on black socks today? Come on, man. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, like, I just gotta rock a little shit. Like, I just, I just be popping up with shit in my head, man. Yeah. Just write it down, man. You know what I'm saying? But, I be having the rock shit going on, so that's why shit ain't out right now. Mm -hmm. But before, I'm gonna say before, <coughs> excuse me, the month of February or March, man, all that shit gonna be out. You know, summertime is gonna be lit, for real. Okay. Summertime, everything gonna be out. Summertime, that's that's a fact. God turn, are you in? Man, yeah. Um, all right, so, so, what's one of your biggest L's you took, but you took the biggest takeaway from it? Like, you learned the most from it. Is it I took my whole life? Yeah. But not 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 even your whole life, but something that stuck with you that made you like, all right, I gotta move different. L. I would say going to prison would be my biggest L, but I would think that's um, that's not me being that's not me being totally honest. I say my biggest L, man, was letting a nigga make a diss song about me, man. Okay. I think that if I'm being honest, letting a nigga make a diss song about me and talk about my deceased brother and shit. I won't say I actually took an L, right. but that was something that stuck with hit. me, you hear me? Like, man, what the fuck is wrong with this dude, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. Wow, at the same token, it's like, how I elevated from that, I just noticed, like, I say this shit all the time, like, mouth will say anything, you feel what I'm saying? So a nigga making this song, it don't mean that it gotta be true. Right. It's just a nigga making this song forever, whatever you feel as though his purpose is, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But a mother say anything like, now, that shit right there made me more comfortable in my skin than I ever was. Okay. Because it took, it took me down a little bit, had me feeling a certain kind of way, had me down. Because of how he was talking to my brother, it's like. Right. But after that, I had to realize, I'm comfortable in my own skin, mm -hmm. and just because, just because, a lot lies are more entertaining than truth. Right. Feel. So that I think that's what I that's the probably the biggest learn. I ain't probably ain't saying that right, but you know what I'm trying the to biggest say. Learn yeah, biggest learn lesson. Yeah, biggest lesson from that type of situation. Right. My mouth would say anything. A nigga would say anything to get out of any type of hole again. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying. And at the end of the day, I'm all man. I'm 100 percent man. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember where you was when like everybody in the crowd knew your shit? Like you ain't even had to say it, you just niggas going. Man, that was that was a couple times. That was a couple times. Um, I remember I remember I came out with uh Danny Glover remix. I like did the cover on Danny Glover. Yeah, I'm that shit drop, bro. And motherfucking 
I, I want to say I was either at the film or how it did, but I want to say it was how it did. Mm -hmm. And the shit had just came out probably like a week before I, I did that jump. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I came in that jump and everybody, you remember that shit? I can't even see. Yeah. You remember that shit? Yeah. Like real loud, like the whole, <coughs> the whole, whole, the whole stage is all. That's how I remember this. The whole stage is all red. Like that red lights going on. And all, it's me and all my thracks, and all us on that show, bro. And that shit really came out probably even a week or less, bro. And they knew everything. All that shit worth I barely knew the words yet. Yeah, you feel me? And they, man, they all knew that shit, bro. I remember that shit like it was yesterday. And they knew every single word, word for word. Shit that a normal motherfucker couldn't even understand if he listened to it unless he was right there when I recorded it type shit. Right. Because around that time, we recorded shit in the closet, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And around that time, Freak Show, Mix and Master, and that shit itself, he wasn't no yeah, professional. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, they they understood every word, word for word. I'm like, damn, like, that shit was like that. I ain't gonna lie to you, that shit was like that. Uh, how would you describe your transition from band to group to band solo? Uh, I mean, I started solo though. Okay, okay, okay. See, people all, like, I be like, I be reading people interviews and shit, and they always say that I came from the group Thrap. Right. And that ain't what happened. You feel okay. I started solo when I was on the run. You feel uh -huh. what I'm saying? Nobody else was really rapping like that. They was, you know what I'm saying, trying shit like we all was, but yeah. they wasn't rapping like that. And when I got locked with my first bit, that's when. They came out with um, Thrax the movie, and that's when everybody, you know, started spreading their wings with that rap shit. And then I came home, and when I came home, you know what I'm saying, I swear, I mean, to be honest, I like, got right back on some solo shit. So it's like, I never really, I ain't gonna say I was never in the group, because that'd be lying, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I looked at it more than the rap group, though. That's like, these my men, you feel what I'm saying? And we just on the same accord as what type of shit. We represent, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always been solo though, you know what I'm saying? I just a solo rapper who like also got group. a group, you feel what I'm saying? I got so it. it's like, yeah, I always been solo though. If I can't really say it's no different transition because I always been like way. that. I always been solo the whole time, you feel me? Alright, alright, so is it full snip for a nigga to be like this nigga flock the PG and Godfather of rap type shit? Is it forcing that? Is it forcing it? Uh, I mean, shit, like, like, bro, like the world opinionated, you feel what I'm saying? So I can't really say who wrong and who right because right. it's all about opinion. Right. So if a dude say that, I can't really say he forced him because that's how he really feel. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same token, like, it depends what you're saying or like what you mean by that. Like, I, am I the godfather? Like, would I be, you saying like, would I stand on that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If a nigga say that? Yeah, yeah. It depends what you mean by that. All right, so just example. Gucci, man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas came up not. Under Gucci label, but you know what I'm saying, fucking right. with Gucci. Right. And the way I see it, a lot of niggas that's out now, Jai, like they was fucking with you before they jive like catapulted. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like that's what I mean as far as like the Godfather. I mean, Even if, I mean, shit if you look at it that way, like yeah, I mean, if you want to look at it like that, but um, I bro, like I be looking at shit, bro, like all these rappers and shit, like they tell me though. They might not say it publicly, but they'd tell me. Like, when I first came home, this time, like, dudes who was probably 13, 14 back then, they older now. So yeah. Yeah, bro, like, I'm blown up now and shit, but you the nigga who I was listening to since such and such. I've been listening to you since I was, blah, blah, blah. I've been fucking you. You, you inspired me to do, 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 do. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I take that, and I take that with pride. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I feel good about that, but I want to say, like, I wouldn't say like I made them do. So if right. that's what the nigga saying like about the golf, I wouldn't say I made them nigga. Because you gotta think like majority of the time I've been locked up more than I've been on the streets rapping, I've been more so locked up more than that. Yeah. So it can't I can't say it's all because of me. Right. Because they had to make their own type of lane somewhere, regardless if they took a nigga sound mm -hmm. and remixed it to themselves. <laughs> right. Whatever, whatever they did, yeah. they made their own lane or whatever, whatever lane they they made it. You feel me? So it's like, man, shit. If they say that, then you know, it's all the pain here. Yeah. Like, me personally, shit, I'm just flop. But I'm not, I ain't trying to be nobody five, five, five. I already got, I'm already got door. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How baby girl doing though, bro? She cool, yeah. She just turned five. She cool. She just turned five? Yeah, she just turned five. Yeah, mine bro. Yeah, yeah, she turned five. That's all right. Yeah. All right, so, all right, all right, so you hip to this 
I ain't even gonna mention the nigga name, but it's an artist, right? He dropped. And they was like, this nigga sound like Flop. I thought the nigga was Flop. Go listen, listen to the nigga. Then on Twitter, this was back probably like, that's back in a little, you know what I'm saying? They like, man, if this nigga was Flop, Flop loud, this nigga ready. I don't even know if you remember that shit, bro. Nah, nah. I don't know. Uh, you gotta look that shit up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> right on your phone, you talking about, I, I, I see you. I'm saying, I ain't got no cut card, but I don't know who you talking about, though. I, I wouldn't even have a guess who you talking about. Right with that curse that and shit. Ah. Ah, see, nah, I right, boom. With bruh, like, see, I fuck with that nigga, though. Yeah, shit. Yeah, see, I fuck with him, you feel what I'm saying? And he got a couple of maybe, like, little parts of my swag. Mm hmm and shit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But you, I can't always look at that shit like a nigga dick eating. Right. Or a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I can't look at it like that. Like, you gotta you got think about it like, motherfucker might like how you dress, mm -hmm. you feel me? And he might take lessons from how you dress because his dress probably wasn't up to par. Right, right. And he might like how you dress, so he might take a little bit of piece of your style mm -hmm. and mix it with his. At the end of the day, when he mixing it, it's still his style. He just rewrote to it, but right. it's still his. You feel what I'm saying? I got you. So it's like, I don't look at him like that. Right. Not him personally. I don't look at him like that. You right. feel what I'm saying? Like, he's the only guy I would really say he took or or, or used, I would say used, with like some of my ad libs uh, and shit like that. And he put his own little spin, spin on, on it. So technically it's his, you know what I'm saying? But. Like I was, he got it. He got his own little swag. Nah, he he definitely it. took that shit. He he dropped like that. Yeah, he got his own swag. Yeah, he got his own thing. swag, his own following and shit like that. Like I like to do this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what you say the sweetest part of the music game is like? What you find like? All right, this shit sweet. This shit sweet. This shit come what you up. Mean? Like a come up or some shit that's that's sweet. Like this. Like some people work at motherfucking the cable station. They get free cable. Right. You feel me? So like that shit sweet. Are you saying like what's the pros? Yeah, of pros. being a rapper. Yeah, yeah, some some joints you like and shit. Uh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You get free clothes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you get paid to You get shit. free clothes. Yeah, you get pay, you get paid to, to talk. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I get fee some money just to talk. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Just talk my shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I get show money just to to have fun. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. But like. If I'm being honest, I think like cons will outweigh the pros. Yeah. If I'm being honest, you know what I'm saying? Cons will outweigh the pros, but at the end of the day, it's still gonna be pros. Right. Know what I'm That's just life for it, though. Yeah. No bullshit, though. Man. No bullshit. So, um, so, your first solo project that's True Illuminati. Right. All right, so, you made that joint, you was on the run. Yeah. So, how that, how that, how that recording process go? And how you choose the songs that you did for the job? Um,. I right, the recording process shit, like, I right, boom, so when I was on run, I was down Hampton and shit, and, like, mm -hmm. it would only be a few times, probably when I only say it been, like, two times that I actually came back home and snuck back home and did, like, two songs, and I think I did, um, I did two, the only two songs I did when I came home was the joint with me and Lizzo and shit. Okay. I can't really think of the name right now, so I ain't trying to mislead y'all, but that was the only time I came home, but the other time I was, I was on my down Hampton University and shit, and, um, the man came down there oh, and, yeah, yeah. and, and brought the studio with him. Yeah. And then my little brother uh, uh, living room and just going high from there, you know what I'm saying? Um, I picked the song, shit. Um, shit, I really ain't, ain't going to say I pick a song. Like, everything I recorded within that time, that's what we put on the tape. Oh, why? Right. Everything that we recorded from that time, that's what we put on the tape. Okay. Besides, like, adding these little features and shit like that, like, and Thrax Gang features and shit like that. Like, everything I recorded on the solo tape, we put that on the tape. Oh, why? Right. So, story time, that joint one of my favorite jumps. Like, that's, one of my that's my shit, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. So, I, I got hip to you. I was out Baltimore. I went to move and shit. Right. I'm from out here, but. Right. So, that joint, her doing shit, True Illuminati. Like, right. Thrax was popping off and shit. Right. My man was like, bro, you got listen to this nigga. Right. So, like, like, story time, like, first of all, do you write or you you die like? I do both. Okay, okay. Around that time, though, strictly write, no freestyle. Okay. Around that time, yeah. Story time, you gonna do? You, I know that joint died like a throwback, but would you do a visual for that now? Um, 
That one fish good. I mean, it, like, it be sometimes I be thinking like, man, old shit like deserve a visual, but mm -hmm. it's like I, I don't be trying to go back for the simple fact like my mindset was my mindset was way different, different on them type of time. You know what I'm saying? Around them time, my shit was different, so I really ain't trying to go backwards as far as my mindset go. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to keep it more from here and everything from here. You know what I'm saying? Is to the next day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Uh, Trill Illuminati 2, what's up with it? Trill Illuminati 2, um, uh, <laughs> uh, I ain't, I ain't gonna say no, it ain't, it ain't coming out. Right. I ain't gonna say that. Um, to be honest though, I got that shit written down in one of my notepads, shit, Trill Illuminati 2 and Sunny 2. And the only, like, um, uh, what's the shit called? What's, not a trilogy, that's a the sequel, third one. A sequel. A sequel. Uh, yeah. That's the only two sequels I got on my, like, in my mind, in my thoughts type shit. Okay. But I got a rock of shit that will come before them, though. You know right. what I'm saying? Rock of shit that comes before them. Priorities has nice shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when it, when FTSO supposed to drop? Uh, I can't really get out no day on that shit. The shit done, though. I, that's, all, that's what I couldn't tell you. The shit is done. Um, but, when you were dead, I can't give you a day. I just tell you, I, I want to put it out around spring. Okay. Spring before summertime, right? Yeah. Yeah, right spring. before that jump? Yeah, like around spring. That's when I want to drop. You know what I'm saying? Around spring, warming up to the summer type shit. What's your favorite visuals that you got out? Like all the time from, from beginning to mind? Uh, favorite visual? I'm going to say the outro on Trill Illuminati. Okay. That's why I had y'all like the most fun. Uh -huh. It was the most purest vibes around that time. Um. Shit, I wanna say that's probably the last video my little brother was in. That's the CD he was in. If I ain't mistaken. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my favorite jumps, man. Like, Good you been looking at Joe, you can tell I'm having fun now. You know what I'm saying? Right that time I'm on the run, I'm bony as shit. Can't even feel my draw, my draw's baggy as shit, but, you know what I'm saying? I was having fun like shit around that time, man. That's right. You got a favorite project that you dropped so far? Mm -hmm. Favorite body of work? It's between Kill Me Now and Glock is between them two. I can't really pick for real because I like so many tones off each jump. Mm -hmm. uh, but Glock, see Glock is that shit won't mix or master or nothing. Okay. We just put that zone out. Like I told, I told people that the tape was coming out and the mix and master process was taking too long. So I said, fuck it. Like, I'm going to get to you. I just like that. like that. You know what I'm saying? I think if that jump was way more clear and way more clean, That'll be my all-time favorite, though. But it's between, excuse me, it's between that and kill me now, though. What's three essential things you'll use in the stool? Like, you need that shit, like, not pack or, or lick or nothing, but anything other than that, that you, like, I gotta have that shit, or I ain't gonna fab right. Vibes. Facial expressions. Mm hmm And body language. Okay. And Vibes is like, niggas turned up, mm -hmm. that's the energy I need, because I'm going to be turned up. Of I'm course. trying, the more y'all turn me up, the more I'm going to turn up. You feel all that energy. Saying. Facial expressions, like, if your face just, you know what I'm saying, just like that, it's going to throw me off. Like, damn, what you ain't feeling this shit? So it might give me a little discouraged a little bit. I'm not, I'm probably not going to go as hard as I normally do, because I'm like, damn, what the fuck am I stomach? You know what I'm right. saying? And the body language is like, I feel as though if you ain't high off something that got your body language like that, right. there should be no reason your shit like that slumped off. Slump. Cause I don't make that type of music. Right. You know what I'm saying? I make music that's, that get you up, that get you turned. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So I feel as though like it's all that man. That's all that shit. Like all that type of shit. You feel? Yeah. yeah. All right. So how would you describe the DMV to somebody that ain't from here? I was scratching DMV. Yeah, like the area. I mean, niggas don't really be in Virginia that much. Well, niggas might be in Virginia, right. but it's like really the the city in Maryland. Like, what? Right. I mean, um, see, to an outsider, I never talk to him in my city to no outside. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just not me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, to an outsider, Chicago, Ohio, whatever, I'm going to make it look like my Sweet. city is the best thing smoking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? But to somebody that's from here, I mean, to somebody that's from here, they, they know better. Right. They know what's going on down here, you feel me? So it's like, 
I mean, I don't think it's just our hurry that's grabs in the butt. You feel me? So I feel as though it's anybody who elevates to any type of any type of high stamp on the neck, somebody gonna feel some type of way. It ain't just where we live at. Right. It's just we from here, so we gonna see it more here because that's where we from. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that shit like that at other places and shit like that, but like I said, to an outsider, you know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit, the Poconos. <laughs> it's the best place I'm at, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, so when when did you say your success hit you? Like, you was like, damn, man, I just like took off. Um, I want to say when I came home last time. Okay. Not, not this bit, the bit before that, but I came home like 2015. Yeah. Like, that's when I was giving out my most rawest music. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, I was trying shit. Like, I'm just trying different styles, just trying shit so I could, not really so I could find my own sound, but I just wanted, like, I got in my mind, like, I could do whatever type Anything. of music, whatever type of music I could do, you know what I'm saying? And I was trying shit and it was actually working, so. I figured right then, like when people would nod, it's that like, damn, Mo really singing like shit on here. He can't sing. <laughs> I knew right there, like, yeah, I'm like that. Like, I knew I was like that though, but yeah. to be like, like I could really phew, get by it. And yeah, probably when I came on the last time, but like this time, like I'm just, I'm still trying to catch up with myself being mm -hmm. gone for three years you feel right. what I'm saying yeah I'm not trying to keep up with the Jones but I'm trying to keep up with myself so I'm not too far behind you feel what I'm saying no, I, I can't keep talking about no old shit that was going on three years ago right when time moves so fast by the day not even just by the year just by the day you feel yeah. so it's like this time though it's this time I think my story just more painful because I've been through more shit right. you know what I'm saying so all right, so you a '90s baby, right? Yeah, '92. All right, so you use a lot of metaphors, cartoons, shit. So what, what '90s cartoons was you looking at, like growing up? Like I, I know you, you mentioned like Timmy Turner and shit, like you know. Well, what I say that? all that type of shit, like I like that all that shit, but like <laughs> Timmy Turner, Rocko's Modern Life, but yeah. fucking. Ah, real monster. Like, That's my shit. Niggas don't be remembering like, that. All that shit. I remember all that shit. Like, what's the little shit? And it was like a comic book, but it had like different stories. Kablam or some shit. Oh, Kablam. Kablam. That's my shit. Boom. Kablam. Some shit like some that. Some shit like that. That, that shit. Like I like the that dance on. I know that was one of my favorite shows. Like, like shit like that, bro. I looked at all that shit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hell my man. head came with you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right, uh, what's some what's five of your top movies on that? Like top movies. Yeah. Um, dang, I ain't gotta do no specific order. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Um, <coughs> the Bronx Tale. Yeah. Um, the Bronx Tale. The Purge. Yeah, with the first time or all them jobs. It's so all I'm gonna be considered one? Yeah, we can consider one. Alright, yeah, all the purges. Alright. Motherfucking, um. Damn, I just got a Johnny Coleman was spot this jump. <laughs> uh, see, I got a rival favorite movie, bro, but I ain't cliche like, you know how niggas gonna be like, Man, it's just Society, yeah. Friday, yeah. all that goofy shit. Like, I fuck with them movies, but they won't be like my top movies, though. Right. Like, I barely, barely be in my top movie. That'd be in everybody else's shit, too, I heard. Yeah. I hear, but that's really one of my top movies. Um, Baby Boy. Yeah. And, um, shit, that's four. Oh man, that's the scary show. Um, House of a Thousand Corpses. I ain't never seen that. That's a Rob, a Rob Zombie film. Shit, House of a Thousand Corpses. Like, yeah. One of my favorite um, top scary movies I fuck with. I gotta get hip to that shit. I shit like that. Um, other than rap, what music you listen to? I don't, you, don't, you don't listen to like uh, rappers and shit? I you try rapper. not to. Okay. okay. Yeah, I try not to. I ain't gonna say I don't. Yeah, yeah. I try my best not to though. Okay. You don't feel like they could inspire? Like, some niggas be stealing shit, but some niggas be like, oh, I like that. You know, like how you were saying, like, but, you don't feel like you could incorporate um, shit? Nah, because I, like, if I, like, other niggas rapping, uh -huh. like, 
some of them might be relatable to my story, but it ain't my story. Okay, I got so it. I really can't say like I'ma let the next rapper like influence what I'm doing because they, because I'm doing what I'm doing and they right. doing whatever they doing. You know what I'm saying? It might be we might got a, a lot of shit that's in common. Yeah. But I, you know, what I'm saying? I can't compare the next man's story to mine. But um, man, this is all different type of music. That shit, R&B, um, R&B, rap. I listen to all type of shit, bro. I ain't lie to you. I listen to all different type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, really ain't got, I really ain't got no, no picks with that shit. Like, if I like the music, I like the music, you know what I'm right. saying? I listen to like five people's music. And when I was locked up, I had me a radio. I'm listening to all the little Ariana Grande, <laughs> uh, all, that, all that crazy shit. That, shit. that shit like that to me. Like, good music is good music, you know what I'm saying? It don't really matter. The genre, the race, the age, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Good music, good music, that's it undeniable, you feel me? That's right. Uh, shit. Alright, so you got any features that you did recently that surprised you? Like, oh, damn, this nigga died, like, going on. Hell nah. Hell nah. <laughs> Hell nah. See, like, I ain't gonna say that ain't going on. I ain't gonna say that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the majority of the features I did, they doing their thing, but they not, they can't fuck with me, though. Right. Like, if we I got you. totally, uh, they cannot fuck with me, though. Like, it's really, like, and I'm saying this humbly as possible, I'm not trying to downplay nobody. Right. But like, if you gonna send me a song and shit, and you going first, it's automatic I destroy. Like that's just part of the plan to fly, destroy, like crush them, like finish. <laughs> Straight them, you know like what I'm that. That's the plan. You know what I'm saying? Because when you play that zone, you gonna play that zone for your fans, and now I'm gaming fan. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the game. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think nobody yet. I'm not gonna say it ain't nobody. Man, shit, I'ma say that. I'ma say ain't nobody fuck. I'ma say that. I'ma stand with that. Ain't nobody fuck with me. That. I'ma say that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Alright, uh, you rocking with any of the local comedians, though? Comedians? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like Pat. Pat I like Pat. That shit. Um, Craig, he the big. Um, Davey Ruffin and this shit. Like, that's my childhood, man, and shit. Okay, okay. Um, who else? Old dog, old dog, funny as shit. Who else did? Who else be on some funny shit? McKen funny and shit. So McKen nigga got more. McKen one of my childhood mentors. Okay. How you choose your beats? Just a lot. So lately, I ain't even choosing. They just like, like saying walk in, them niggas be choosing like. They be thinking they say, man, hey, more ticket. Send me something that's cranky. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Cause I don't be tired every time looking at email and shit. That shit get me frustrated. So right, like, man. Find something in the email that's cranky. They send it to me. We just go from there. What the process of elimination type shit? Okay. How you and Swerve link on the music side? Like, but how y'all link up with the music side? Um, uh, so Swerve, like, bro, that's my hop, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's been my man for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Just like over ten years type of shit. So, yeah. um, like he, but now I was, I don't, if, I, more, if I ain't mistaken, more, I want to say, bro, he might, might have been rapping before me. Okay. I'm I, I I'm not sure, so I can't really stand him. But I want to say he might have been right before me on his own time. Right. time yeah. His yeah. own time. If not, he, it was not too long after me. So by me being with him every day, like that's just you know what I'm saying. Shit is clear. Like, hey, bro, like come on, I got this, oh, bro. Come on, we gotta go to the studio. Let's go do this. Like, and if I went in and shit, like every show I had, like we ended it, we ended the show with him. I ain't going to tag the body bags or the show with him, you know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Free swerve, yeah. Free swerve. Yeah, yeah. Four times. So that shit back. Uh, you chop it up with Rico Nasty since you been out? Uh, oh, briefly. Briefly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Briefly. Okay. Oh, um, she's doing good, though. She's doing, like, she's doing, like, absolutely well, though. Like, I've been looking from afar, and I think she's doing work in the right way, you know what I'm saying? Strong fan base, she's setting up shows and shit like that. Like, she's doing, she doing great. You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, you and Goon was bidding the other day. I, I was bidding like shit the other day. I feel like from when you came out to see this nigga die, like rapping this shit, he died like, he doing his thing with it too. Um, I'm happy for everybody who's doing uh, their thing. You feel me? Like, yeah. Like, anybody who I had any type of ties with, regardless if fell out or we still on, like, I want to see everybody progress, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see nobody not doing nothing, and, and, and get nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, same with people that, like, got a good following, got a strong fan base, 
and shit like that. So, um, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm proud of them as well, you know what I'm saying? But everybody who's doing good, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Anybody who, who, who make it shit happen, you know what I'm saying? Did you go to Go Go? Yeah, you was go in the Go Go? Like shit, yeah, yeah, right? I am. Yeah. <laughs> shit, all right. So, what's your top five gold bands? Gold bands? Bands. Oh uh, shit, it's in order. All right. ABM. Okay. ABM. Uh huh. Motherfucker. TOB. Okay. Motherfucker. Backyard. Of course. Motherfucker. Reaction. Okay. TCB, that's that. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> ABM, the ABM had that crank, you know, like, That's I fucked with ABM so hard, cause like, they on gangsta shit, but then Go-Go verse, you uh -huh. know? <laughs> I fucked with them dick, you feel me? Well, when niggas get, got the beefing and the Go-Go's and they was hitting each other shit, bro. Yeah, boy, that shit like that. <laughs> but then my all-stars just go back and forth. Yeah, yeah. That shit was like that. But that was like one of my more fun times of life, though. It was, though. Yeah. You feel like uh, the Atlanta area receptive to, like, your, your music type stuff? What you mean? Like, the scene in Atlanta, do they they fuck with you down in Atlanta? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, how you do? You got two tracks. With, you got John with Twenty One. You got John with Who? How them joints go? How how them they reached out? You reached out to them? Um, uh, Who Rich and shit like. You know what I'm saying at that point in time, we was kicking it like that. Alright, alright. Twenty One shit. Um, I had to show up to feel more and shit, and um. Some shit had happened before I was supposed to go on stage and shit, and the person who was supposed to bring me out, I got in tour with like people who run a film on shit, and they got kicked off and shit, whatever came in. And um, 21 motherfucker, like, man, shit, like, man, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't put your shit on there, man. I, I'm gonna bring you out, you know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he bring my shit, bring me out, woo woo. And um, I left, went to the studio and shit, and knocked the shit out. You know what I'm saying? That's alright, man. What the fuck going on with this big flop? Big flop 187. What the fuck going on? I'm gonna smack like ET. Good interview. Real questions, nigga. Tap in, real.